of David. Okay, the scripture said the root of David. You know, Yahushai, one of Yahushai's nicknames was uh, the son of David. Okay, which we all know that was that was who King Solomon. All right, which which uh, King Solomon was Yahushai. Okay, and, and that's and that's that's reincarnation, man. If you can receive it. All right. But here, the scripture said the root of David, okay? What's the root of a thing? The beginning, all right? Read on. The root of David has prevailed to open the book and to loose the seven seals, okay? So it says, and to loose the seven seals. And, and, and matter of fact, let's read it again. Revelation 5 and 5. And one of the elders said unto me, Weep not, behold, the lion of the tribe of Judah, the root of David, have prevailed to open the book and to loose the seals, the seven seals thereof. Okay? So if we remember reading up in the chapter, the book was sealed, and no man worthy, all right? No man was found worthy, shall I say, to even uh not even just the the, the the look look upon the book, meaning to, to go into the book and read this book and to break it down, okay, the correct way, okay? But the lion of the tribe of Judah, the root of David, okay, has prevailed to open the book and to loose the seven seals, okay? And who is that? Our Lord and our Savior, Yahweh Shai, all right? Let's get a quick precept, Hebrews chapter 2, all right? And uh, verse 10, it's the book of Hebrews chapter 2 and verse 10, for it became him for whom are, so like it, for whom are all things and by whom are all things is bringing many sons into glory to make the captain of their salvation perfect through suffering. All right. And how did he do that? By becoming the sacrificial lamb. I'm going to read it again. Hebrews 2 and 10. For it became him. Who's that him? Yahweh Shah. For whom are all things. Okay. And by whom are all things. In bringing many sons into glory. To make the captain of their salvation perfect through suffering. That's why he's our Lord and our Savior, man. Okay which is that sacrificial lamb, Yahweh Shai, okay? But the point is, he did it through suffering. And how did he do that through suffering? Becoming the sacrificial lamb, man, okay? Let's get another quick precept on that. Uh, the book of uh, the book of Isaiah, chapter 53. And uh, book of Isaiah 53, and I'm just going to go straight to the point, uh, verse 7. He was oppressed, and that he is Yahweh Shah. And he was afflicted, yet he opened not his mouth. He is brought as a lamb to the slaughter, and as a sheep before her shears is dumb. And he opened not his mouth. Okay? That's Yahweh Shah, man. Okay? Being the sacrificial lamb for the hopeful elect. The bloodshed for the hopeful elect. Okay, salvation for the hope of the elect. Okay, and also what? To open up these seals. Okay, let's get another quick precept. Let's get uh, 1 John 1 and 29. All right, this is the book of First Slacken, the book of John, chapter 1 and verse 29. The next day, Slacken, the next day, John seeth Yahweh Shah coming unto him. And saith, Behold, the Lamb of the Most High, which taketh away sin out of the world. See? Okay? Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah. All right? Yahweh Shah took the sins, okay, out of, out of this world, man. Okay? I'm going to read it again. John 1 and 29. The next day, John seeth Yahweh Shah coming unto him and saith, Behold, the Lamb of the Most High which taketh away sin out of the world, okay? So he, he died, okay, for, for to take away the sins of the hopefully elect, okay? And it's ultimately going to be all the sins, all right, of Israel because Israel is going to be saved through the elect, okay? But he also shed blood and became the sacrificial lamb, all right, for us, 
to be able to break down these scriptures, man, in this present time, 2017, man. All right. We know Revelation 5 and verse 6. And I behold and lo, in the midst of the throne and of the four beasts and in the midst of the elders stood a lamb as it had been slain. See, that's Yahweh shot. Okay. That's Yahweh shot. Let's read, uh, let's read, uh, um, matter of fact, let's keep reading. Having seven horns and seven eyes, which are the seven spirits of the Most High sent forth into the earth. All right. So that's Yahweh Shai, man. Okay. Yahweh Shai is the reason, okay, why we are, uh, uh, have remission for our sins, okay, and also being able to to open uh, 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 these seals, okay, for anything to be sealed, it, it is what locked up, all right, it is hidden, okay, but through the bloodshed of the sacrificial lamb, which is Yahweh Shai, which is our Lord and our Savior, all right, we here at Great Millstone, being the hopefully lit, all right, can go into this this book, man, this King James version, this Holy Bible, all right. The true collection of of books, all right, and be be able, all right, to to break down the mysteries of the kingdom, all right. This is uh, Revelation five and seven, and he came and took the book out of the right hand of him that sat on the throne, all right. So, Yahweh Shai, all right, is the one, okay, through the bloodshed of Yahweh Shai becoming a sacrificial lamb, all right. That's reincarnation, <laughs> in a sense. Okay, him becoming the sacrificial lamb, man. Okay? That was the end all be all. All right? That's how I said when, when uh, 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 well, uh, roughly paraphrasing, uh, uh, I have finished I have finished my work, roughly paraphrasing. Okay? Or, or, or the work is finished. Okay? You all, you brothers know the scripture. Okay? But the point is that through Yahweh Shah becoming the sacrificial lamb, all right, we are we are saved through his blood and we we also uh have the mysteries of the kingdom 